Guys, I have to show you how cool exponential power is. Watch how lightly I pull on this and twist it and watch what impact it has. Wow, so cool. <laughs> it's it's toy time. Time. Guys, today we're doing something super special. It's called a pendulum clock. Oh my goodness. Wow, is it like a clock tower? Yeah, and it looks like that it starts with a key. You wind the key and then it just causes like some crazy like gear action to happen. Yeah. Should we open it? Yeah. Let's do this thing. Guys, I've done a couple of these wooden gear toys. These build it yourselves and I'm addicted. Like I love them so much. So a company called Robotom, I believe they have a website. They actually sent this to us and I'll totally drop a link in the comments if you guys are interested in building this yourself. Ah, progress. Ah. Okay, we've done a few of these. I know by now that I should probably leave these in until that I'm ready to actually use them. Last time I made the mistake of opening up all of them at once and then I got totally confused. Pendulum clock, assembly instructions. Oh my gosh, I love making these things, guys. Oh, dude, this time they included some wax. Last time I had to use one of Mama's like weird scented Christmas candles and my like, last gear object thing just smells like Christmas 24 seven. It's amazing. I can't wait. Okay, let's get started. For those of you that watched the last one and they were kind of turned off by the fact that you have to use glue. Uh, this particular set, there's no glue. It's all being held together by friction, I believe. Oh, I get it. These are not actually components of the clock itself. These are like little tools for measuring the height. So what I just did was I grabbed this, I grabbed that little orange tube, and then what you do is you put it on whichever height you need and you push it until it hits that. Wow. Also, they include this, which is part of it. It's to assist. Push it all the way down. Yeah. All right, I have to see something. I have to. I have to see if this is gonna work. One, two, three. Well, that was the best thing I've ever seen. Using a combination of this tool, this tool, and this tool as spacers and a bunch of those, I was able to make this thing. Now, I don't think that this is its intended purpose, but check this out. Ugh. Like we're done here. I'm just gonna toss all the rest and keep this. Ugh. Okay, so far I've made one gear. Two gears, this one so far is my favorite. Let's look at this. Whoa! Yeah. All right, then we made this gear too. This is really pretty. This one, and now it looks like we're doing E1, which is, I just saw it, I just saw it, this one right here. Hey Dad, can I spin it? Yeah, please. Which one do you want to spin? Ooh, uh, this one spins yeah. by far the easiest. Try it. It's satisfying, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Hold on, let me redo it. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right, now we need the base T25. That one's pretty tall, and I believe this one goes on top like this. Doop, boop. Now this little orange circle thing gets plopped on top. I kind of just lay it in there gently like so, and then I grab this tool right here. You can see that it's kind of battered and beaten from all the metal poles that I've been booping out here. Push it like this, and then you just push down. Uh, yeah. Done, another one done. Okay, I think that this is it. I think it's supposed to spin freely which it does, and it looks like it's aligned up proper. Yep. <laughs> Quick update, guys. This is what I've made so far. It looks super sweet. Ooh, this is getting interesting. It involves this weird, really surprisingly heavy metal piece. I think it goes in here. I'm guessing it's an actual weight for some sort of pendulum. Then there's these two tiny springs, like the tiniest springs you've ever seen in your life. They get wedged into here, I think like that. And then there's a second spring that goes right here, just like that. Yes, this heavy metal block is being sandwiched in with springs. And now this guy just hides it all. And it's actually surprisingly heavy for how small it is. Had a partner. Stick him up, babes. That actually looks like a big old giant robot. It does. Okay, the moment of truth. I have the skeleton made. I have attached the little logo at the bottom. Really cool and actually much bigger than I thought. Now, it says that we need to add this one. I don't know what L3 is, but fortunately every single gear spoke is totally different. So I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah. Ooh, I think I got it, I think I got it. Let's do the quick test spin. Ugh. What? It goes, oh, I just squished it. Hold on, reset. Ugh. I squished it, babes, watch. All right, more gadgets and gizmos added. Let's do another test. We have two gears now. Three, two. They go at different speeds and it's looking really quite beautiful. Let's see, this is the third gear. Oh dude, that's so cool. I love that this one spins really slow, which in turn makes this back one spin like a thousand miles an hour. Watch this. 
So cool. So there is this really spirally metal thing, and I'm not sure what it does, but it makes this really cool effect when I spin it and let go, watch. I'm assuming that has something to do with the actual timing mechanism itself. It's really cool. Ooh. Neat, huh, boo? Look at it. It's like way bigger, first off, and way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Like, it's complicated. Guys, I have to show you how cool exponential power is. Watch how lightly I pull on this and twist it and watch what impact it has. Wow, so cool. Okay, this is definitely a pendulum. This is definitely a pendulum, hence the weight. I get it now. I'm guessing that it drops somewhere in there. Uh, nope, it doesn't. Okay, we gotta figure this out. But I don't think that this thing is required in order to give it a quick test run because I think that all 50,000 gears are wired up. Just give it a good twist. Oh my gosh. Guys, it works. The hand is going around. Oh! 60, 61, 62, 63. It looks like it's proper seconds too. I'm gonna have to test that. Woo! Okay guys, it is finished. Let me show you how it works. There's this really tight metal coil. What it does is it winds and it just builds up incredible tension. Watch. See it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Right now it's getting really hard to spin. So now once all that is locked in, then you let go, all of that tension gets released and this thing just spins and spins and spins. So if you look really closely, this one's spinning much faster than this one. I'd say that this is the second hand and then this is I guess the minute hand? Oh, it's running out of juice. It lasts a fairly long time with one spin. Now, this is not the proper mode. This is not what this is intended to be. It's not meant to be a big spinny object. It's supposed to be a clock. That's where this guy comes in. This guy has little hooks. You see these two little pincher things? And what they do is they engage this gear right there where my finger is. The problem I'm having is as soon as I slide this guy in, there's just too much friction, it stops everything. So what I'm gonna do is they recommend wax. They even include some. The problem is, I don't know what it was, maybe it's just too cold or something, it's not humid enough, but I got some of uh, some wax that we actually have, it's gooier, and I'm gonna reapply, and we're gonna see if we can make it actually tick tock. Oh yeah, greased up, like excessively so. There's too much wax on there. It's just wax everywhere. Oh, I should probably wax these things. Actually, it looks like it has a little bit of residual wax, and besides, it's not difficult to uh, take it apart, this one particular piece, so let's give it a go. Okay guys, it's getting a little bit later in the day. So I went, I double, triple checked every single thing. So let me show you. What happens is you wind it up. Oh, I've already gotten, I've already got like super wound up right there. So what happens is what you do is you kind of like trigger it. And then what happens is you can see it actually working right now. But I have something too tight. I checked reviews online. I checked everything. People are saying they have theirs running for eight hours. Some other dude is like five hours. So I think that there's one of the 15,000 gears in here is too tight, but that's totally user error and not like a deficiency of the actual toy itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna peek and see every single one and see what's tight and what needs to be loose and go from there. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Is <laughs> he <laughs>